Hello, my fellow weirdos of the internet. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name is Ray Roddingwell, and I'm a special effects artist, costume designer, character designer, and character actor, and I'm here to talk about my favorite things. Now, you may be wondering why I'm dressed like this, and if you are wondering this, you clearly have not seen part one of this character. Part one is this cute, pretty little doll, and then in this video, which is going to be my specialty, we're going to be making this cute, pretty version of this doll into a scary, cracked porcelain doll. We're going to be taking out these lenses. I'm going to put in a creepy mesh white one, and then we're going to actually be hiding this one with some black mesh. And I'm going to add some nasty cracks. It's going to be dirty. And uh, we'll see where this goes. I took out my mini scleras and I took off this eyelash. We don't need them anymore. Um, one side is going to have a white mesh lens like the eye is dying and then the other side I'm going to actually be putting in this mesh. I'm going to cover my eye just like this and I'm going to be painting everything else black where it would be underneath and adding a bunch of cool cracks and stuff so it looks like this eye is completely gone. Um, you probably wouldn't really have to do this if you had um, black sclera lenses or wanted to kind of close your eye like this the whole time. My eye is very squinty when I do that and it's very obvious that my eye is closed so I'm going to be going this route. So I know for some reason a lot of people think that making cracks is very intimidating and scary but it's really not. The only difficult thing that I will say about making cracks look realistic is adding highlighting and contouring to it but that's really simple once you figure out where you're gonna map everything out. So I'm gonna start, I want my main crack to be here, that's where the big crack is gonna be, all the way across my eye. So I'm just gonna start by my eyebrow with some black water paint. And this can be messy, it's gonna end up looking super cracked all over the place anyway. So here's my starting point. And now I'm just going to go where all of those points are and just start adding some squiggly lines. So then once we put this down with latex at the very end, I will be able to keep my eye open. And you can't really tell. It's sort of just like a cool idea. It's just like a cool illusion, just in case you don't really feel like covering your, your eye completely causing more strain on your eye. just stop here if you wanted to but you could take it up a notch and add some shading and adding highlight to break in a lot of really great dimension to your makeup so that sounds super hard I promise you it's not you just need to have sort of like a like a game plan essentially for what you for the for the direction that you want them to go into 
So I'm going to take a very cool toned contouring shade because we're very pale. So I'm going to use my shading to be a little bit more on the pale side, a little bit more on the cool side. Whatever, when, it, when you're doing highlighting and contouring, you're going to add light onto one side while shading on the opposite side. So all you have to really pay attention to is, okay, so if I start... I'm going to start my shading on this side. Boom. So there's my shade. The opposite side is going to have the highlight. If that doesn't make sense, don't worry. I will explain it once I go into it a little bit more. You don't want to do all of them. It's just certain, certain ones. So I started on that side, on that side. So I'm going to do... You want the cracks in this, you want the, the shading, you want the shading to be going in the same direction throughout the whole, the whole creation. If we're looking at it on like a flat surface, the... The shaded ones, all these darker ones, are kind of almost like going inward. Like they're about to also snap off. And then the ones that are going to be with the white on the edge of it are going to be kind of looking like this. Like they were broken up. Does that make sense? That looks pretty good now we're gonna go and just do some nice dirtying <laughs> Instead of using latex, I don't really want latex around my eyebrow or my eyelashes, so I'm going to actually go in with some Prosade cream, and I'm just going to put it all around the mesh. about straining my eye or anything that's so cool all right guys this is the final look of my part two of my doll series i'm pretty pleased with it i'm glad that this ended up working out really well because now i don't feel like my eyes are going to be as strained trying to look through this mesh lens and now i can see pretty clearly and not have to worry about that Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy me, if you enjoy my channel, please feel free to subscribe. Don't forget to like and comment on this video and you can always hit the notification bell so you never miss a single video. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video.